Apollo Shepard Discovery Center, hear you loud and clear. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. An exciting moment that makes you feel like a kid again, gazing at the stars, connecting with an astronaut floating 250 miles above Earth. It was amazing. Children from all across New Hampshire were invited to ask questions, speaking to teacher turned astronaut Ricky Arnold. He's currently a part of Expedition 55 that launched to the International Space Station in March this year. He's one of two teachers who brought Krista McAuliffe's lesson she had planned into space, also his inspiration. It was the work that other astronauts like 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 Krista McAuliffe and those other people who've come before me, the 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 importance they saw and what we do and the importance of uh, how they understood our mission, the importance of our mission. Uh, that was a very, very inspirational um, to me as a, as a as a someone when I was growing up and when I was your age. Kids learned from Ricky about his experiments growing food and algae in space and the question everyone wants to know, what exactly is it like floating in space? It is actually incredibly easy to move around in space. We can um, we can move around really heavy objects. We can move ourselves around really easily. Um, the the downs and it's a lot of fun. That part was very popular. Everybody burst uh, out laughing when he started floating around on the International Space Station. One kid did ask if Ricky could bring one thing to the ISS, what would he bring? He said he wishes he could bring friends, family, everyone here on Earth up into space so they could see how incredible this all looks from way up there. We're live here in Concord. I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.